Hello everyone, Matthew here again from the NOLA Nerdcast here at Wizard World Comic Con, New Orleans, whatnot, all that fun stuff, 2014. Here with another round of excellent artists, uh, Nen and Mike McCone. How are you guys doing today? Doing pretty good. I'm all right. You're doing all right, yeah. <laughs> How's, all right. Uh, now, now that we're at the tail end of the con and it's all winding down, how has the weekend treated you? Uh, New Orleans has always been very, very kind to me. New Orleans has been kind to me too, though not as kind as it is to Nan. <laughs> I, I don't know why you have a British accent. I can't figure out any reason why it'd be nicer to her. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm racking my brain. I can't think of anything. No idea. It's, yeah. It couldn't be anything to do with the French hitting the English. No. Not at all. No. We love the English. Have you seen the Doctor Who fans here? It's the, the British hate has long since passed. So, I mean, you can see the wa wave of art over here. You mentioned earlier that you have dis you discovered Nen like how no, no? no, I, no what Oscar White no. said that to you oh That's that lying That's bastard all right he, so he, what's he, the real story to since I him. was lied to what's the deal here okay I travel to shows with an idiot savant called Michael White okay oh my eye um we were at Dragon Con, um, okay. and we just happened to see uh, Nan. I, it's so weird calling you Nan. Um, yeah. um, Nan's work, and we liked it. And I, I spilled some water over it. Um, and we just kind of uh, saw each other at shows now and again, um, and decided to try and do some work together. And how has it been from your side, having to deal with him and, and, and talking Mick White over there? Well, Officer White is very opinionated and very loud, and he has a... Uh, certain uh, opinions that he likes to let people know about. He also has a very entertaining description of what G-Clay prints are. <laughs> are they monochromatic? <laughs> are, they, are they prismatic? They might be prismatic. <laughs> <laughs> um, from the art side, like, your, your style is very painterly and you've got, yeah. like, crazy backgrounds and stuff. And I personally bought a one of your limited edition Death from Sandman prints. Yeah. That Fantastic. That penciled and inked, and I painted that one. That's, I mean, I, I love it. It's one of my favorite things I bought at this con this year. Uh, what can you tell me about your, all right, uh, how foolish, the favorite, blowing away all competition. Uh, that's what I meant to say. It, it's, it's jitters, you know, what are you going to do? We can edit this. Yeah, no, editing, I don't even know what that is. Uh, what, what, about your own, own personal styles, like how long does it usually take for you to knock out something that then goes, everyone ends up loving? Uh, are you doing it first? Ladies first. All right, my paintings take on average like 20 to 40 hours, sometimes a lot longer than that. Because um, I take it from pencils, inks, and then the actual paintings and stuff like that. So. <laughs> and you, like you said, uh, you like to do your original creations and stuff. And yeah. the fact that you had a death or the black cat right here is 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 the exception rather than the norm yeah, for you. The exception rather than the rule. <laughs> yeah, in Savannah every Friday there's a thing called Sketch Club that we both attend. Okay. So generally, what happens there is I'll just kind of mess around until something happens on a, on a block of watercolor paper <laughs> and then then paints it. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, Chris Claremont name dropped you uh, when we interviewed him. Uh, oh yeah, he just, he kept talking about you. I mean, some of it was good, most of it was hilarious, you know, I mean, how is it, how is it, how is it working with him? It's incredible. He's Chris Claremont, you know, he's, uh, he's the father of the X-Men. I mean, how do you think we felt when he said yes to an interview? <laughs> well, I, very excited, I would imagine. And then we got to follow up with you. He was here today, and I had the I had the uh, the pleasure of giving him some Mexican Coke. Oh, nice! Yeah, real Coke with real sugar coke. and everything. Real Coke. He was thrilled until he realized I didn't have a can opener. <laughs> so, a bottle opener, uh, sorry. So, have you guys just overall enjoyed the con? Did you? Yeah, definitely. We love New Orleans, so. Yeah, we, you know, we've almost recovered from the 12-hour car ride to get here. Now we're about to go on another 12-hour <laughs> car ride back. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> well, I mean, hopefully we see you back next year because it'll be, it's a lot of fun to see repeat people. Yeah. And it's always good to have awesome art here. And you definitely guys fit the bill. And I'm so happy. Yeah. You, you are by pure happenstance were the first place I wandered to today, yesterday. Yeah. And being able to nab that last one was really awesome. Well, thank so you thank, very much. thank you very much. Are there? Uh, we have one final question. We always ask people. It, it's a philosophical one. So dig deep. Think think hard. If you uh, do, you think rocks are actually soft and they just tense up when you touch them? Yes. It's concise and to the point. Yeah. I mean, you never know how a rock is feeling until you touch it, right? 
I mean, well, I don't make a habit of touching. Well, I do actually. You do. I do. I was told off in a cave with him. Um, <laughs> we went spelunking together, and the guide said I would be thrown in jail if I touched any more rocks. Oh, wow. So he made yeah. a habit of touching rocks that time <laughs> I did. to see if he would get thrown in jail. I did. Well, I have a philosophical question for you. Ooh, okay. Are islands attached to the ground, or do they float? <laughs> I'm gonna go with they float, <laughs> even though realistically I know that's not. It's just land popping up, Are but you it's sure? is it? Am I? I don't. Islands are just things that live on the backs of giant. It's true. Fish. They're turtles. It's the backs of turtles. Oh, turtles. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Or tortoises. They're whatever. All land, They're all the same, all right? Yeah. Islands, that's cool. I mean, you know, I've watched enough sci-fi to know that it's actually just a giant turtle floating around. So, I mean, who, you know, I mean, and all, all I know is science told me otherwise, and who really knows science, right? I mean, what science? Don't get me started. Top, topography, those bastards. They're just, they're just there for the map consensus. He's gonna discuss the physics of the Earth's crust with you now. Oh, what's that? Battery's running low. Oh man, oh, this interview is being cut short. Well, thank you very much. How can people find you social media wise? Uh, you can find me on Facebook, DeviantArt, and Tumblr. Um, at DeviantArt, um, well, you can have my card. Oh, we have cards. Anything. We'll put yeah. it. We'll, we'll super uh, put, impose it on the interview. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Womp womp. All right, well, thank you very much, guys. Uh, we, I got two cards for the price of yeah. one. Thank you so much. You've been a, a treat to talk to you all day. Thank you. Well. Thank you. Yeah. Good luck Take for the care. rest of your time, and uh, have thank a safe you. trip back home. Thank you Thanks very so much. much. Take care. Now, this lady's been waiting very patiently I know. for me. Thank you so much. I'm very sorry. It matches your tattoo. Matches the tattoo.